What's up guys, welcome back to a brand new video. We're about to head down to Ohio Stadium in Columbus, Ohio to see Morgan Wallen in concert. I am pretty pumped, but she's even more pumped. That is like her favorite country artist of all time. First of all, let me show you guys a fit check. I have never been to a country concert in my life, so I don't really know how to dress. I'm not gonna try to be like ultra country because obviously, I'm not country. I grew up in like the upper middle class suburbs. I live right now in downtown Atlanta, the opposite of country, but we're doing our best. Checker flannel right now. Shorts that are way too tight. Guess that's how they wear them nowadays. They look like jeans, even though they're not. And I got a hat, baby. This is the only time you'll ever see me in a cowboy hat. So let's put it on. How do we look? Good. How do we look? Good. Do you look, Skylar? Yes. Just turn you on? Yes. Really? I'm looking at myself in the reflection. I think I look like an idiot, but who knows? If she likes it, then Oh, maybe I could rock it. And it's got our fit check. Let's go, baby. Put it on. What we got going on? Flannel, shorts. Yep. Converse because my feet are so small. Yep. And boots. And bandana shirt. Ooh, this is my favorite part. Check that out. Check that out. 360. Whoop. You can tell I'm going to a concert with chicks. It's just four pairs of boots. <laughs> the trunk of this car, bro. I'm here with Emily. That's my sister. Dana, that's my other sister. She's mad she's not driving her own car. I'm the dude, I'm driving. Say what's up, Muddy. Hi. That's Muddy. I guess real name, Maddie. You, you haven't been in the vlog before, right? No. All right. Yes, she has. Where? At dinner, dinner at BJ's. Oh, that's, it's been like two years though. I know. Okay. And then I'm the only dude, so we'll see how this trip goes. Anyways, hope you enjoy another video today. Let's go. All right, this is Dana taking over the vlog. I got Chipotle. Yeah. Give us a whole of what you got. Um, I get a bowl with white rice. Show them. Black beans, chicken, <gasps> Ew. lettuce, corn, sour cream, and salsa, and cheese. I got a wrap at pole right. and a smoothie. Do a taste test of your bowl. <laughs> do it like David. You just say straight lettuce. You gotta rate it. Yeah, mm -hmm. you gotta do a thumbs rate up it. first. Mm. <laughs> what's the rating? A hundred out of ten. Muddy, what's the rating? Oh. Hold on, 10 out of 10. 10 out of show man heck of a show morgan really puts on an insane performance uh pricey but definitely well worth it definitely go see him if you can nine out of ten absolutely my favorite song by him is actually still going down i don't think that's one of his like top five most popular songs but for me that one hits the most what you think baby have a good time it was good happy birthday by Thank the way you. that was her 21st birthday Present. Bought this thing like five months in advance. Whether it's a country concert ticket or a sports event or a vacation or a trip, I like booking it way in advance when possible. So as you're working and living your everyday life, you can look forward to it and it just makes you that much more excited. The concert didn't end until about 11. It took us quite literally an hour and a half 
to walk to the car and get out of the parking lot. There's 70,000 people leaving at the same time. So I was way too tired to drive two or three hours back home. So we posted up overnight at the beautiful Micro Hotel Inn and Suites in Delaware, Ohio. This thing is a dump. Check it out. There is mold on the ceiling. I don't know if you can see it, but those little black spots right there. Yeah, that's mold. That's a health hazard. Moving into the bathroom, we pulled up and this is all the toilet paper we got. Look at this. This is the entire roll. I don't know if you can see how thin this is, but that is quite literally about like a sixth of a roll. That was it. However, the bed was pretty comfy though, and it gave us a good night's rest after a long day. This was like the only hotel left in like a 10 mile radius since I was foolish and did not book ahead. So overall, great experience. It's funny, man. So we pulled up at like 2 o'clock in the morning. The dude tells me it's $189 if I use a credit card, but only 100 bucks if I have cash. Why? I think he's working under the table. So I went over to the pilot across the street, other side of the highway, hit the ATM, withdrew 100 bucks, and just gave it to him in cash. He handed me the keys, no paperwork, no ID, no email address, no receipt, nothing. Just 100 bucks straight cash, room for the night. Hey, can I do a turkey sausage, egg and cheese on an English muffin? And uh, strawberry passion fruit. Dragon fruit. Dragon fruit. With green tea. With green tea. Just a small. Passion fruit with green tea. Yeah, small. Like my orders are so basic. Hers are always so complicated. I was gonna Anything get coffee. Else, that's it, thank you. The last thing I was gonna do is eat that hotel breakfast. Like if there's mold on the ceilings, I don't even know what the eggs would do to me. So, Duncan it is. Let me know in the comments, Team Duncan or Team Starbucks. I love Skylar because she is Team Duncan along with me. You gotta drag me into a Starbucks. All of Ohio is pretty much getting hit with a huge thunderstorm and even a tornado warning all of today. And Morgan Wall is supposed to do his second performance tonight in Columbus. Well. I don't think he's gonna do that, so good thing we went last night. Every single time I come back to my parents' spot, I say it, but if you haven't, go back three years and check out my old videos. They all started right here in the backyard. Always nostalgic coming home. A lot has changed here, honestly. So this house right behind us used to have no fence. They built this black fence right here. Something my dad didn't like because when he bought this property, he didn't want any instruction like that. And then the house next door completely gutted their backyard and is building an in-ground pool. Maybe once that's up, I can go swim a little bit. But this has me thinking, you know, when am I gonna buy my first house? I don't know, it's extremely hard nowadays. For example, so we're in Metro Cleveland in the suburbs of Cleveland about 30 minutes west. If you look it up across the country, Cleveland is like one of the cheapest cities in the US. It's very, very cheap to live here compared to everywhere else. And the new construction right down the street is starting at $700,000 in Cleveland. That is absurd. That's some stuff I see in Atlanta. I mean, in Atlanta where I live now, they're building like two bedroom, two bathroom condos for that are like 1,800 square feet starting at like 700, 750, 30 minutes outside of the city. The housing market is crazy right now. It's making it extremely difficult for the first time home buyers within like the five to 10 year age gap that I am who at least start thinking about it to buy one. So hopefully I can buy my first property in the next couple of years. Hopefully interest rates come down, but the way it's looking, I don't know, I might have to splash a little. Every time I come home, the first thing I do is open up the fridge outside because I know my mom is stocked with beer. Check this out. She has about 40 Miller Lights in this fridge. There's two cases of 12 each, another nine or 10 Miller Lights up there, and then like seven or eight more Miller Lights here, and then a couple more cans. My mom likes her Miller Light. Okay, right, see you, Mom. Son. Coming in a couple All weeks. Right. Okay, see Coming you in a couple weeks. weeks. I'll see you yep. in a couple weeks. Right, I better clean the place then. It's pretty yep. dirty right now. Yeah, you better keep the place clean <laughs> before I come. All right, love you, All Mom. All right, okay, set trip. trip. Never gets any easier saying bye to my family, even though I've been gone like two years now. I have seen them a lot this summer. Fortunately, I'm very fortunate I get to come back a lot, uh, basically because I, I work from home, so I'm blessed for that reason. But I don't think I'll be back until probably Christmas time. There's not any reason for me to come back in like September, October, November. I don't think. Maybe I'll be back before then, but definitely around Christmas. So headed back to Atlanta right now. The Cleveland airport is really, really dead. That's the other good thing about Cleveland. The airport is never packed, unlike Atlanta. So I'll see you back in Atlanta.
Anything in the fridge? Uh, I guess, I mean, we have a blue moon light sky. Let's crack that open. And then uh, some old Publix fried chicken. That has got to be nasty by now. Every time I leave, I clear up my fridge beforehand. So it's not like I'm just always living with nothing in my fridge. Back at the crib, quick trip back to Ohio. Left on Tuesday, came back on Sunday. So super fun weekend for me. I know this vlog has kind of been all over the place. So if you made it to the end, I really appreciate you. I, I think it was a, a very easy and chill and relaxing vlog for me to film. Definitely slower pace, less stress level for me to crank this one out. So hope you enjoyed another video today. Let me wrap up the video right here on the balcony. Can do this so freaking hot atlanta it is ridiculous but if you enjoyed another video today we hope you did make sure you drop me a thumbs up i truly appreciate it also subscribe to my channel if you haven't because i drop a new video every single monday that you don't want to miss see you next monday